Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a problem that was given on a Sir Isaac Newton physics contest from Waterloo University for high school physics students. Try and solve it. Here's what the problem asks. Here we have a large box that is massless. On top of it, we have a smaller box, let's call it box one, that has a mass of 80 kilograms, connected by a rope over a pulley to another hanging box with mass 60 kilograms. Then we have over here, we have a person, let's call him Luke, and he has a mass of 70 kilograms. And Luke's applying a force on this large box. Now the question says, calculate the value of that applied force required that prevents box one from sliding over the edge. And then divide your answer by the weight of Luke and select the closest ratio. A, B, C, D, or E. So pause the video here, try and solve it, and we'll go over it together. Alright, so let's start by drawing some free body diagrams. We'll start with this hanging mass. So here's our box two, and we have an upward force of tension. We have a downwards force of gravity, it's called m2 times g. And then we have some force being applied from that box onto the hanging mass as it's pushed. Let's just call that an applied force. All right, so let's look at the sum of all forces. I'm going to look at it in, in y, because I want to know what that tension actually is. So the sum of all forces in y equals its mass times the acceleration in y. Now the acceleration in y is actually going to be zero. Why is it going to be zero? Well, we don't want this mass one to be moving, right? That's part of the question. We do not want it sliding over the edge. So as this one falls, we want to be pushing this one to the right so that mass one, from the point of view of the large box, doesn't move. Even though from the ground's point of view, yes, it's moving to the right. So we're going to make that acceleration then zero. Now for that to be true, we have our sum of all forces in y. We have two of them here. Let's make up to be positive. So we're going to have tension minus its weight, which is going to be zero. So solving for tension then, m2 is 60 kilograms, so it's going to be 60 times g which for Earth is 9.81, but I'm going to just leave it as 60 G for now. Let's look at another free body diagram. So for block number one over here. So for block number one, we have that same tension force pulling to the right. And then we have a normal force because it's sitting on top of that large box. And of course, we have a gravitational force it's called M1G. Now, if we analyze all the forces in X here, because I'm trying to figure out what that tension is, it is going to equal mass of 1 times acceleration in X. Now, it is going to accelerate in X, and that's what we want to figure out. How much in the horizontal component is it accelerating by? Once we know that, then we can figure out what force is required for Luke to push this whole system to accelerate it at that same acceleration. So to do that, we have the only horizontal force is that of tension, because okay? there's no friction in this problem. So tension is going to equal m1, which is 80, times acceleration. All right, so rearranging there, you get acceleration equals tension divided by 80. Okay, so let me just continue a little bit over here. But we know what tension is. It's 60, 60 G. So we have acceleration equals to 60 G divided by 80. And that's 60 kilograms, if you remember, divided by 80 kilograms, which is a ratio of 3 quarters times G. So that's our acceleration. So now what we want is we want Luke to be able to push this entire system 
to give it the exact same acceleration. So if we're going to look at Luke then, the sum of all forces in X is going to equal that total mass of the whole system times by that necessary acceleration. So the only force here is we have this applied force by Luke, because again, there's no friction. Our total mass would be 0 plus 80 plus 60. which is 140 kilograms times by acceleration which we know is 3 quarters g and that's going to reduce to 105 times the gravitational field strength so that's our um, that's our applied force and then we were simply asked to take that applied force and divide it by the weight of Luke. So Luke is over here at 70. The weight then would be mass times gravity or 70 times g. So our ratio then that the question is asking for is 150 g divided by 70 times g. And that's why I left g until the end because I kind of knew it was going to cancel there. Uh, but even if you subbed it in you'd be fine. And so 105 divided by 70 is approximately three halves or 1.5 so our answer is e did you get it let me know in the comments be sure to subscribe till next time